Hi handsome and welcome to my 16th video. This time we are taking a quick look at energy and especially energy recovery. Ever since the family wide life skill update, there have been some misconceptions about how it affected gathering. To the point where even big streamers like Blue Squadron will tell you that you can now gather perpetually. But can you really? This is what I am here to find out today. So let's get into it. Most of you probably already know how energy recovery works for the most part. But if you don't, here's a quick TLDR. You recover a base of one energy every three minutes whenever you are online and one energy every hour on any and all offline characters. This means that even if you are playing the game, the only character who will recover one energy per three minutes will be the one you are currently playing on. Similarly, every single energy recovery buff in the game only works on online characters. This includes Kamasovia Blessing. To prove this, here are some pictures of my characters and their energy levels before I went to bed and after I woke up. You can see that their energy went up by the amount of hours I was sleeping. Not more, not less. Already you might start seeing a problem with the claim that you can now gather perpetually. Especially if you are playing the game in multi-hour long sessions. Well, before we can actually get to calculating if there are any circumstances in which this would be the case, let's first talk about character slots. You start the game with 6 character slots. Every character in a family shares the same maximum energy. The current maximum possible energy as of making this video is 700. You can also buy and slot in 2 energy crystals into your crystal tag for an additional 20 energy and and the millennial ginseng which is very rarely obtained from mini games will provide you with an extra 50 energy for the time that it is active but that is the absolute maximum as far as I know. For the purpose of this video I am going with the energy reserve that I have right now which is 555. I think this number is relatively easily obtained by just playing the game and not going out of your way to grind knowledge too much. If you are seeing yourself with 500 or less energy you should probably do some of those knowledge grinds. I would suggest starting with finding and talking to all the node managers and town NPCs followed by going into the sea to talk to all the wharf managers and barterers and after that if you still feel like you need more you can do the rest like the adventure logs and exploration. Keep in mind that the higher energy reserve also means more time to fully recover it. So even if you have more maximum energy than what I have, it won't really change the numbers that much and will only affect how long you can gather or hunt in a single session for. I will still include the maximum possible energy just so we have the best case scenario. Alright, now let's circle back to character slots. The maximum number of characters you can have is 32 and you can increase the number of characters by either of two means. You can either buy the character slot for 10,000 loyalties or for 600 pearls. Let's first talk about the pay to win option since it's the easier one of the two to explain. If you decide to whale up and only buy the tickets or the character slots with pearls, it will cost you a total of 15,600 pearls. The closest bundle to this number is actually the 15,000 plus 2400 pearl bundle which will cost you $150 and leave you with an extra 1800 pearls to spend somewhere else. You could wait for some kind of 1 plus 1 deal which would bring this number down to I would say 70 or maybe 80 dollars depending on what kind of 1 plus 1 deal it would be. Now let's say you don't want to spend the equivalent of one or even two AAA games on character slots and instead you want to use the loyalties option. Here things are a bit more complicated. First things first, like I said you need 10,000 loyalties per slot but you can only buy one character slot per month and this resets on the first day of each month. So, it will take you 26 months to get 26 characters, right? No way. Not this time. Not this time. No. Not this time. You only get 200 loyalties per day if you log in that day. That means that even if you log in every single day, you only get 6000 or 6200 loyalties per month. You do get some loyalties as part of events and sometimes even login rewards, but I wouldn't say that it's enough to cover the 4000 loyalties discrepancy every month. Also, this is assuming that you will not spend the loyalties on anything else at all. So, to conclude this segment, 
in theory, 26 months minimum. In practice, closer to, I would say, 36 or even 40 months. And most likely, much longer than that, if you want to buy something else with those loyalties in the meantime. Of course, you can combine these two methods, so it might take less time if you decide to spend more money and vice versa. Alright, now for the fun part. First, here is how much energy per hour you could recover with the different buffs and also when using energy potions on top of it. You can also see how long it would take to recover both the 555 and the 770 energy. The average gathering session takes me roughly 45 to 90 minutes to do based on which spot I am gathering at. Obviously, I have no way of telling how much 770 energy would take me to spend but I think that adding an extra give or take 15 minutes on top is fair. For the sake of simplicity, I will round these numbers to 45 minutes or an hour for the super fast spots like Balenos Foxes or Bear Herps, 60 or 90 minutes for the medium spots like Valencia Lions and Valencia Snakes, and 90 minutes or 2 hours for the super long spots like Dragon Yaks and Dead Tree Essence grind spots. Next, we need to figure out how many characters we actually have and how many we want to gather on. I have decided to split this into three categories. First, we have 10 character slots for the newer players. Then we have 20 for an average player like me. And finally, we have 32 slots for an all-in gatherer that just does nothing else but gather. Now, the beauty of these numbers is that it will also tell us how much energy our alts will have recovered by the time we are done with our gathering sessions. Clearly, it is impossible to gather perpetually like this, but but just saying this wouldn't be exactly fair. Nobody is actually gathering for 20 hours straight, right? So here's the energy you would recover on a single character with a limited playtime. Yes, you can gather with a lower energy base, but that will only make the process faster and the cycle faster as well, which will inevitably continue until you are stuck with like 20 energy per character and can't even transfer gear between them using mates anymore. Now, there is one thing I haven't mentioned, and I didn't really want to mention it in the first place because I thought people already knew, but just in case I don't get accused of withholding information, here it is. I am of course talking about energy potions and the miracles herbal medicine. First of all, let's talk about medicine. It will give you an extra 2 hours of gathering. It gives you 500 energy when you use it, and then 600 energy over the course of the next hour. You could theoretically use this on every single character you have to double or even triple the number of hours you can gather, which would make perpetual gathering possible for that cycle. But first of all, good luck getting even 10 of these items consistently, let alone 20 or 30. And second of all, the cooldown on both the herbal medicine, which is 22 hours by the way, or the energy potion don't go down when the character is offline, meaning that if you want to use that potion on cooldown, you have to be online on that character at that time, and you need to wait those 10 minutes on that character, which completely negates the point of it being an alt, right? You probably have other things you want to do on other characters, and those characters will probably be also out of energy, which means you will be using the potions on those characters, not on the alts. Also, keep in mind that all of these numbers that I have put here are assuming that you are not using the energy on anything else other than gathering. So you are not increasing drop rate on nodes, you are not hiring workers, you are not exchanging it for the energy potions or combat EXP bonuses at the Black Spirit, you are not using it to get amity from NPC to increase your knowledge and therefore your maximum energy, nothing. You only use the energy for gathering in this simulation. Also, I didn't talk about hunting, since hunting can be done perpetually for the most part. The most popular spots will not drain your energy even on a single character, as long as you are using energy potions. These are, of course, Shadow Lions and Grass Rhinos. You can use Green Pow spreadsheets to see the numbers for yourself, as they have a much more comprehensive and easier to use spreadsheet than I could ever come up with. In conclusion, even with 32 characters, it is still impossible to gather perpetually. The Family Lifestyle merge did not make perpetual gathering possible. All it did was increase the maximum capacity of energy you can have at any single point in time. To use a metaphor, before Lifestyle merge, our energy was the size of a phone battery. Now, it is the size of a car battery. But we are still using the same USB Type-C plug 
to charge it. All right, handsome, that is it for today's video. I hope you liked it. There is a chance that I am wrong about this, although I don't think so, but if you know something that I don't, then please let me know, because I really do want to know if I am doing something wrong. I decided to make this topic into its own video, uh, rather than put it into the following video that I am going to be making, to make it more concise and easily digestible. And you don't have to worry, because there won't be another spreadsheet extravaganza in the following video. There will also be a short test streaming session tomorrow, Sunday the 26th, at around 7 p.m. Central European Summer Time. We will do a little bit of gathering and then guild bosses, so I hope to see you there. That is all I wanted to say for today. Remember to like and subscribe and enjoy your grind.